You know what the cure to a bad day is? FF7. Uh, so we got, where are we? We're fully healed, almost, so we'll also hit the uh, fountain thing, the spring. And uh, we beat the boss. It was a little sketchy to not, to not beat that very convincingly. Trying to dodge its big final attacks, I got in some weird uh, death spirals, essentially. We're trying to revive, but get KO'd. Ooh, nice. We don't have to smash the square button here. And we are out of Gaia's Cliffs now. Which means I think we'll get a fancy animation. And I think it will do that cool thing where it can take in-game in -game movement, I think, and move it into cutscene moment. Maybe it doesn't. I don't remember exactly. Yeah. Where it can use our movement and then carries the cutscene on the screen. I think this is such a good effect. Some people think it looks dumb because obviously my hair is like ridiculously bad uh, graphics quality compared to what we're seeing. But we are seeing the life stream, which is really reliably shown as green. So when we see green, we know that's life stream. And we have found the place on the planet where there is the most life stream. Do we have a name for that? We just might. Nice, uh, nice cliffs. Nice. I'll just call it what it's called. Yes, there we go. I don't even have to spoil it. An old crater. Something fell out of the sky and crashed down here. Ooh, any idea what that could be? Leaving a scar on the planet. The energy of the planet is concentrated here. It's slowly healing its old wound. We know this is the calamity from the sky, Genova. Sephiroth took that energy and is trying to use Meteor. Next time, the wound won't be so small. Bad news. Bad news. We have new enemies. We do, but I don't like bombs. Actually, let's death blow this, see how much Tifa can do. Ah, uh, not that much. All right, well, it's going to grow. Will Tifa get a counterattack? Sadly, no. I think it doesn't grow on counterattack. All right, maybe we'll run away at this point. Uh, nope, too late. All right, that's a shame. How much will it do? Wow. And that's our character with the life materia on it. So I'd have to move the materia to someone else to heal him. Oh, should have just run away. Punished good. If I was um not recording, I would be very tempted to uh, swap out, uh, reload the save, and just avoid this. Not, like, because it's a game over or anything, but just, like, why, why put in the effort to do all this when I could just not? But we're playing this one honestly. We are showing the entire run, regardless of what happens. And that has brought us here. To having to uh, revive Piggy Man. I always think of them as taking three hits. Ooh, another black cloak. The back to Sephiroth. We'll try to talk to all the black cloaks we see in this run. The time has come to settle things with Sephiroth, huh? I, too, have lost many things because of Sephiroth. Let's go. Well, that was a quick turnaround. I have lost many things. Big pause. Let's go! Exclamation mark. Uh, actually, we were gonna switch the order here in case that affected dialogue. Alright, Black Cloak. Not doing so good over there. Neo Bahamut Materia. Well, we gotta see each summon once, at least. So... I guess we'll sub out Bahamut for Neo Bahamut. That seems fitting, right? And we'll take the save point. Not much to say right now, but there will definitely be a lot to say this episode because this episode is, is going to be a big one. Big events afoot. 
think there's nothing to the right. I tried to run around to the right, but that didn't work far enough. Yeah. All right. Let's go left. And that's. So after having for the whole game been very careful to make sure we're aware of the entire cast, we are now basically getting a convergence of everyone we've been aware of. We have Rufus, so I finally found you. We can see Scarlet and Heidegger. It seems unlikely the Turks aren't far behind. We're going to the crater, which is where Sephiroth has been going. It's where Genova landed. It really is all the characters coming together to one place. Of course, our whole party is here. What's going to happen? So I finally found you. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. This is incredible. Now Heidegger's laughing. This is the promised land the president has been searching for because they see the life stream as Mako energy. And Sephiroth sees the life stream as life stream energy to summon Meteor and get even more life stream energy. Everyone has their purposes, and we have found the promised land, at least their promised land, and what it is is not a dream place, it's a place with things for people to exploit, right? This is a story of a promised land that is not, you know, a world of harmony, a utopia. This is the promised land of the grass is greener on the other side, and we can take it and run it down for whatever our purposes are. But I'll be the one who gets it. Sorry, old man. <laughs> and we have the Turks, and we have Hojo. How could I forget about Hojo? We have Rude and Hojo. That land is no one's. It's where the reunion will take place. They will all gather here. And we have already been seeing some of the Black Capes gathering. I wonder if we'll see Sephiroth. Alright, so who's going to get the best of this? Is it us? Is it Sephiroth? and or Genova? Is it Rufus? Is it Hojo? Is it the Turks? Who's gonna, who's gonna make it out of here in the best shape having gotten what they want? All right, we see more black capes. Is it the black capes? We need to cross when the wind is calm or we'll get swept off. All right, um, Sephiroth. All right, they drop items. That's very nice. High potion. Hoo hoo ah. Ether. All right, that looks calm, so we'll run. That's a lot of uh, black capes. But maybe that means for us we'll get more items. Can't complain. We don't really know what's up with the black capes at all, except that they're going to Sephiroth and they're going to the reunion. That's a new enemy. We will death blow it. You can put us to sleep, but we have ribbons on two of our characters, so this seems very unthreatening at this point in the game. Tifa has not had particularly good accuracy on her death blows. Done about 2,000 damage to this. Make that 2,800. So we're pretty low HP enemies at this point. You know, if Tifa hit her death blow, she'd almost one-shot that. Or possibly, because we know it has between 2,000 and 2,800 life. Uh, no item. Kaiser Knuckle. That sounds like something we can use. That does not sound like something we can use. We need her to be powerful. We're not, we're not going to take a 44 power weapon just to get more materia slots. On a character who we're really not using for her materia slots, right? Alright, uh, let's death blow. Nice. And it's so nice that if the death blow kills something, um, that doesn't take up your turn. These are funny enemies. They have this weird uh, jump forward and they can make these letters pop out. As always, there are a lot of FF7 enemies, and this is really, I don't think this is true in any other FF, where they clearly have a bunch of things they're programmed to do, and I have no idea what the effect of some of it is. And it might just be no effect. It might just be they run forward and, like, go yahaha ha and don't attack. But it might be, like, connected to other attacks. I have no idea what's going on with a whole chunk of this game. It feels a lot more like a Wild West of the series for enemy design. 
than later FFs do when it is, uh, in general, uh, much more organized. We can see their weird letter attack. It does decent damage. Puts us in, um, and that one they just jump forward and, you know, sit there. I wish you got. Can you get counterattacks off um, misses? I don't know. So they seem to do that when they're hit. Does that change what they do after they're hit? I have no clue. Not a clue. It's just, it's very curious. Uh, there's just so many enemies. Like the Yang is excited in Nibelheim Manor. Um, I'm sure there's others. It's strange. I think it's kind of neat, but it really gives a different feel than the more regular, regularized ones. Like, I think FF10 does a great job of the enemies. You see it, and you immediately know what the game expects of you. And I think that is really well done there, right? I'm not... I don't have a strong preference between the two, but it is neat that every enemy in this game has some weird thing going on. Weird movement, weird, like, silliness. Like, those things, what are they? They're just, like, I don't know. It's all, it's all very strange. Okay, I think we're about to hit big scenes. So let's pay attention and really, uh, Think about what's going on here. Incredible dodging for me, obviously. It's truly the peak of video gaming skill. Yeah, I think this is the end for all of you. That's rude, Sephiroth. Sephiroth. All right, well, the black capes don't seem to be doing well. This is the end. You're right. This is the end of this body's usefulness. He disappeared? He might still be nearby. So that, our purpose is to deliver the black materia to our master. Our? I feel something. Danger. Oh, I see a save point. Save points can't be dangerous. Map is doing goofy things. Those who carry Genova's cells. Master? Of course. Sephiroth. Heh, heh, heh. Oh dear. Love Sephiroth's goofy walk. And we get a boss. And that boss is... Are we fighting Sephiroth? We are not. This would be Genova again. Which is very interesting. We're going to use Big Guard. Because big guard's good. And I don't think this is weak to anything. Like, I think... I think this is not an enemy we can poison. We've never been able to poison a Genova. But this might be a good time to try out our new summon. 140 MP. That's so much. Alright, I guess uh, Nanaki's gonna be our big healer. Alright, I think this is the only game with the many, like, Bahamut incarnations. This time Neo-Bahamut. Brings you into the sky. I think Neo Bahamut looks pretty cool. I think I like normal Bahamut a little more. I think this is a little over-designed. Not a big dragon guy in general. I have a friend who always loves dragons more than anything and anything. And everything. So, uh... Maybe I do like dragons, just not by comparison. Alright. 3700 for 140 MP. And if Tifa hits her um, her death blow, she's doing 2200. 
or no MP, where it's not as reliable. Uh, I forgot that um, Cure won't heal that much, but still worth worth keeping a little topped up. And the, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep healing with red. I should probably just heal red. I didn't realize it was hitting red. But, uh, yeah, Tifa's going to make very short work of this, I think. Uh, maybe a cure two? No, still just cure one. Probably just wasting turns with Naki, but I like... The last boss put the fear of God in me, you know? It's just nice to be topped up when you don't really remember what's coming. Alright, Silence can only hit Tifa, and Tifa is the only one who doesn't care about it. And she gets a counterattack on that? I didn't know you could counterattack, like, a spell like that. Maybe that means Silence is counted as a physical attack? That's very strange. That said, I bet the boss is pretty close to done. Like, I think this death blow could finish it. Ooh, and it's speeding up. Alright, and I didn't heal everyone because... Ooh, it's three. Because I wasn't thinking and didn't realize I had used up all. All right, well, we didn't hit the death blow, so I guess... Okay, still finished it. I was right. Ish. Sort of. Just didn't hit the death blow. Pretty easy boss. So, I want to pause and think about some things. I want to take a moment. The reunion brought these black-caped bodies here. Genova, we know from Gast's tapes took on male form at one time. The ancients called Genova he, when we've only seen Genova taking either kind of non-gendered or feminine shapes. I think it's fair to say, and I don't think they've said this explicitly, but I think it's fair to say Genova can take on different shapes. Every time we've fought Sephiroth, or we've run into Sephiroth, we have fought a Genova boss if we've fought. We have never fought Sephiroth. It has always been Genova. It has been pieces of Genova. Genova, insert some uh, modifier for the name of each boss. Why are we fighting Genova? Well, we know the Black Capes all have Genova cells. We just learned that. And I think the kind of conclusion we've got to take is Genova has some ability to control and take the form and take different forms with beings that have Genova cells in them. And that the black capes we've seen and the sightings of Sephiroth are Genova celled beings, right? That the sightings of Sephiroth are the being that Genova is taking. Thus, Sephiroth can discard a body, right? Sephiroth can be done with a body when its time is done, when it's out of power or potential, because Genova is just moving from body to body, taking the form of Sephiroth. Now, I think the one part of this belief that doesn't necessarily fit what we've seen is the idea of only Sephiroth could wield that katana. Because we're seeing lots of kind of experimental black capes being used to do that. And that could be a bit of a stretch, but I think pretty clearly what's going on is we're seeing Genova cells can do all the effects of Sephiroth we've seen so far in the game. And we, in fact, have only seen actual Sephiroth in flashbacks. And what we have seen throughout the game is Genova. Some people disagree on this, but I think it's, like, pretty clearly what the game is saying here. And, yeah, Genova sells. Hmm, so that's what this is all about. The Genova reunion. Not Sephiroth. You mean all this time it wasn't Sephiroth we've been after. Right, the game is telling us, and so I don't understand why there is big disagreement about it. But there is disagreement in some quarters. We have not been chasing Sephiroth, we have been chasing Genova, who has been trying to get Black Materia. For a purpose 
that it sure seems like Sephiroth's been saying. We also, it is a little unclear in the Temple of the Ancients, because some forms of Sephiroth there were physical, but we did not fight a boss of Genova in the Temple of the Ancients, right? Seng was killed by an, uh, something that looked like Sephiroth, but we fought Red Dragon, and we talked to a Sephiroth that clearly was doing the kind of faded out thing that, you know, when someone is emanating somewhere else, that's often a presentation of it. And so I think that might have been interaction with actual Sephiroth. But everything else we've seen in the present seems to me to be Genova. I'll explain later. Right now, the only thing I'm thinking about is beating Sephiroth. But we still think it is Sephiroth's plan. And that's important. But Sephiroth is, he's here. The real Sephiroth is just beyond here. Which is to say, Sephiroth has been here for the entire game. Sephiroth has been in the Northern Crater the whole time. It's both incredibly wicked and cruel, but it's releasing a powerfully strong will from deep within this planet's womb. Received key item, Black Materia, because this bit of Genova was taking the Black Materia back to the Northern Crater, and it was pulling all the things with Genova cells, all the Black Capes, here to the Genova Reunion. Now, there is a lot of contention over who is controlling who. Is Genova the actor here, and Sephiroth is following Genova's will? Or is Sephiroth the actor here, who is now the controlling thing, though clearly doing things Genova wants as well. The Black Materia is back in our hands. Now all we have to do is defeat Sephiroth, and that'll be the end of it. We'd better not take the Black Materia any further. Why don't you give it to someone else to hold on to? That seems a good idea, in that, like, Cloud is obviously not, um, I was trying to use magic, Cloud is obviously not a um, capable carrier of this. He has already once given it. Let's see with Tifa. Better not take it any further. Why don't you give it to someone to hold on to? What's happening, Cloud? That wasn't Sephiroth. All right, I think we got to give it to someone out of the party. Let's give it to Barrett. Barrett's our favorite. Give the black materia to Barrett. Sephiroth, what a damn crazy... No, not the black materia, please. I agree. Not giving it to Kate Sith. I don't want anything to do with that black materia. How about if you hold on to the black materia? I don't think I can. Me and the black materia just don't mix. So I think the only characters you can give it to, I believe, are Red and Barret. But Red is in our party. Maybe Red, Barret, and Tifa. Guaranteeing at least one isn't in your party. But we will give it to Barret to hold. Damn, man. Pressure's on now. Don't give it to anyone. I'm counting on you. And now... But I'd be careful. Let's find Sephiroth. We're going in first. You guys stay and keep watch. So we are finally going to where actual Sephiroth is. Hi, Barrett. I'll take care of the black materia. No matter what happens, I'll be right here. MP Turbo materia. Now this is quite an interesting one. I think it was glitched there. I don't think that... Yeah, this materia is blue. So what it does is, if we combine it with another materia, it will increase the effects of said materia while increasing the cost of it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine it. We're going to drop off Elemental. I'll put that somewhere else. Yeah, we'll give our higher leveled Elemental to Tifa. So we can level it up. And we're going to combine MP Turbo with Choco Mog. Just have a costlier, better one. But you can, one thing I haven't talked about actually at all, is it, or I think at all, is we could now say combine fire with all materia, say, right? We combine fire with all. So now anytime we use fire, it has the all effect. We could take another fire materia and combine it with MP turbo, and we would get both effects. We would do more damage for more cost, and we would hit all enemies. Now, if we combined it with a level 1 fire materia, like this one, we'd only get the MP turbo effect on fire 1, 
and we get the all effect on all the fire levels because that's attached to one that has access to fire one, fire two, and fire three. Uh, but you can now start setting up combos, right? We can use empty turbo, we can use all. We could use added cut, we could put added cut on another use of fire. So now we have an expensive use of fire that hits all enemies, and we get a free hit in afterwards. Elemental wouldn't help, added effect wouldn't help. I think that's all we got, uh, but we can go look at our, the rest of our blue materia. Yeah, but the more blue materia we can connect, the more we can collect, we can start making some neat combinations. And in the end game, we will um, possibly make use of some of it, but probably not. But it is cool that you can do stuff there. We'll be we'll be playing a different way. What's the poison ring do? Drains poison attacks, protects against poison. Okay, not a big deal. We're gonna save here and see what. You know what? Let's save. Let's save the big events for next time. We beat a boss. We had some scenes. We learned we've been chasing Genova this whole time. But we have finally made it to where Sephiroth is. We have made it to the Promised Land. And there's been so much green on screen uh, to really tell us this is where the life stream, the most life stream is. Right? This is where it came to heal the great wound that Genova did to the planet. And Genova was the threat, but it seems like Sephiroth is probably more of the threat now. Or at the very least, he has much more personal connection with our characters. But we also have all the other threats coming. Rufus, the Turks, Rufus's other in command, uh, Hojo, yeah. So next time, we'll all come to a head. Oh, I didn't stop recording.